Welcome. Good morning. Before we begin, uh, please, I'd like to remind you to please silence all your mobile devices and cell phones. Thank you. I'm Dr. Robert Philpott, professor and chair of the Department of PA Studies in the John Seeley School of Medicine at the University of Texas Medical Branch. It's my pleasure 
to welcome you to the commencement exercises of the Physician Assistant Program at UTMB. Please stand and join Dr. Julie Kutak, who will lead us in singing the Star Spangled Banner. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Thank you, Doc. thank you, Dr. Kutak. And thank you to the Galveston Chamber Brass Quartet provi providing music for our ceremony. <laughs> Chaplain Jennifer Schindler will now give this morning's invocation. Good morning, would you please join me for the invocation? Dear gracious and loving God, we thank you for this day, a day of celebration, a day to celebrate our accomplishments, a day to look back and to remember what it took to get us here and to look forward to what may be. God, we thank you for those who have supported us along the way. We thank you for the love and dedication of our families and friends and we thank you for the guidance and wisdom of faculty and staff. We ask that you help us to remember and to hold on to any worthy dreams and wisdom that have been instilled within us. Remind us of the excitement of learning and the honor of healing others, and grant us hope for the future, for it is hope that helps keeps us going. But Lord, we thank you that we have finished this part, and we thank you that you, we, and we ask that you would bless us as we gather together now to celebrate this magnificent accomplishment. Amen. Welcome, friends, family, faculty members, other colleagues, and guests, and graduates. It's an honor to be here with you this morning as we celebrate commencement for our Physician Assistant Studies program. Congratulations to the class of 2022 on your well-deserved achievements and success. The PA program began in the UTMB School of Allied Health Sciences in June of 1971 with six students and one faculty member. Since that time, the department has grown from a bachelor's to a master's degree level program and transitioned to the John Seeley School of Medicine our enrollment and student body has steadily increased to 90 students per cohort with 16 full-time faculty members. It's now my pleasure to introduce UTMB leadership that have joined us today. I'd like to, I'd like you, I'd like to ask them to stand and remain standing as I introduce them. 
Welcome to Dr. Charles P. Mouton, Executive Vice President, Provost, and Dean of the John Seeley School of Medicine at UTMB Galveston. We are honored that Dr. Mouton is presiding over our commencement and will confer our degrees. Dr. Janet Sutherland, Vice President of Interprofessional Education, Institutional Effectiveness, and the Health Education Center. Dr. Micah Woods, Associate Dean for Educational Affairs. Dr. Norma Perez Rifson, Assistant Dean for Student Affairs. Dr. Misha Said, Assistant Dean for Educational Affairs. Dr. Pierre Banks, Senior Director of Admissions and Recruitment. Dr. Rebecca Goulet, Director, Academic Support and Career Counseling. Dr. Flavio Marconi Montiero, Senior Medical Educator, Educational Development. Dr. Blaine Ganter, Senior Specialist for Learning and Career Counseling. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding educational leaders. Please be seated. Oh, I, I left out one. Ruth, Dr. Ruth Bush. She's the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. The mace that you noticed in the commencement procession bears the seal of the University of Texas and signifies the power and authority vested in the institution. This year, the mace is entrusted to the chair, to the care of Grand Marshal Professor Angela Jones, who holds a faculty appointment as Assistant Professor of Instruction in the Department of PA Studies. She received her Bachelor of Science degree in Sports Medicine from the West Virginia Wesleyan College in 1998 and a Master of Science degree in Physician Assistant Studies from South University in 2012. Professor Jones has been involved in UTMB PA education for the past three years with prior clinical experiences in orthopedic surgery, orthopedic oncology, and other surgical subspecialties. In October 2021, Professor Jones was honored as Educator of the Month by the UTMB Academy of Master Teachers. Professor Jones, would you please stand? <laughs> Graduates, I would like to take a moment to recognize some other key people who have played an important role in your educational journey. To the outstanding faculty in the John Seeley School of Medicine Physician Assistant Program, we're fortunate to have faculty who are committed to providing an outstanding educational experience for our students. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Dr. Robert Beach. <laughs> Professor Holly Good. Dr. Ashley Guillory. <laughs> Professor Dora Hawkinson. <laughs> Professor Carla Hirsch. <laughs> Professor Angela Jones. Dr. Julie Kutak. <laughs> Professor Veronica Marciano. Yeah. Professor Fadeke Okalola. Yeah. Professor Darcy Ortiz. Yeah. Professor Arminia Joe Perrin Lawler. Yeah. Dr. John Roker. Professor Paul Shreve. Dr. Michael Whitehead. Professor Reagan Davis. I'd also like to recognize Dr. Gary Perez. He's a former faculty member and member, member and currently the chair of the University of Oklahoma Physician Associate Program. Please be seated. Last but certainly not least, to the parents, spouses, children, and all the other loved ones of our graduates, thank you for being a supportive presence in their lives. 
Your ongoing encouragement will undoubtedly be very valuable as they begin their careers as physician assistants. Thank you for being there for them. Class of 2022, please join me in thanking your supporters here today. And now I'd like to call on Dr. Mouton to begin today's events uh, with some remarks. Thank you, Dr. Philpott, and again, good morning and welcome to all the friends, family, faculty members, loved ones who have supported our wonderful class of? That was kind of weak, you know, they, it's just, the class of what? All right, very good. It obviously is a great, great pleasure and honor to be, celebrate this milestone with our graduates and with you, their loved ones and supporters. I'd like to obviously thank Dr. Phil Pott and, and the PA Program Administration for the excellent job they've done in shepherding you to this point, the faculty for educating you and giving you the knowledge and skills that you will use to practice your most beloved and trusted profession. Graduates, I know you've worked hard to be here today. I think you've worked hard, right? This is a wonderful occasion, it's worthy of celebration, and certainly you've earned it. Over the course of your time here at UTMB, you've studied diligently, practiced your skills, listened intently, learned from many outstanding educators and your colleagues and peers alike. You received the first rate education that has prepared you well, not only for the, what you have gained in knowledge and developed the skills you need to practice, but you've also cultivated fortitude, compassion, patience, particularly during the COVID pandemic, and have excelled in doing so. You persevered through various challenges, successfully, to complete, successfully completing your studies. In addition to the rigorous coursework you all have completed, each individual here has faced their own personal trials throughout their time as a student. And you have all coped with this change and the uncertainty that it brings as well as any. The fact that you are here today ready to graduate and begin a career rooted in service to others is a testament to your determination and commitment to your goals. Today, you become physician assistants. Congratulations. <laughs> With that, you're entering a versatile, dynamic career with abundance of opportunities to make an impact. I'm sure you know that it's list in, on the U.S. News and World Report list of 100 best jobs. Physician's assistant ranks what? Now, number three. <laughs> it ranks number three, but it's a close second. Let's put it that way. The, the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that the employment of PAs will increase by nearly a third over the next 10 years. So you're gonna have a job, and I'm sure your family, friends, and loved ones will appreciate that fact. <laughs> I believe you will find great fulfillment in, in this work. A study conducted by the American Association of PAs finds that 96% of practicing PAs would recommend this career to others. In contrast, my lowly profession, only about 30% of physicians would do the same. <laughs> so I hope that symbolizes that you all have made the right choice in deciding to become a PA. As a PA, you will have tremendous potential to advance health care for this nation. Having more practicing PAs creates opportunities for greater health care access. This is especially important in rural and underserved areas where PAs are frequently the primary health care providers for their communities. And I also want to add, when you cross the stage, you not only a PA can care for your community, you now become a leader for that community by virtue of that degree. 
You will be instrumental in diagnosing illnesses, developing and carrying out treatment plans, assisting in surgeries and performing procedures, guiding patients with their health care decisions, and much, much more. Most importantly, you will develop variable patient-provider relationships with people who enjoy healthier lives because of you and what you will bring to them. As a new professional, you will have a world of possibilities ahead of you, and your opportunities will, again, be plentiful, both in terms of settings where you might practice and the types of specialized care you might deliver. No matter where, you, where your career may lead you, <clears throat> you will have the power to make a difference. Always remember your training, what you learn here at UTMB from your illustrious faculty, and always meet the challenges, overcome them, and remember the reasons you chose this path, and make a commitment to deliver the best care whenever possible. Congratulations to you all and everything that you've achieved. It's been an honor, truly an honor, to share part of the journey with you. I wish you great success, and I know you will make UTMB proud. So at this time, I will turn the program back over to Dr. Philpott to introduce our speaker. Thank you, Dr. Mouton. This is an important milestone for the class of 2022. You will officially become part of the UTMB family, and it is much, with much pleasure that you'll be joining the ranks of over 2,200 UTMB PA alumni. It is our hope that you will stay connected to our alma mater. Our alumni are a distinguished group who are passionate in their efforts to facilitate a rewarding educational experience for our students. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Gordon Lee, the president of the UTMB Physician Assistant Alumni Association. He's a physician assistant at Limestone Medical Center in Grosbeck, Texas, a 1985 graduate of the UTMB Physician Assistant Program, Mr. Lee. Good morning. I agree. That's a little weak. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. Good. As Dr. Philpott mentioned, my name is Gordon Lee, and I'm a 1985 graduate of the Physician Assistant Studies Program, and currently the president of the newly formed Physician Assistant Studies Alumni Association and its board of directors. It is truly a privilege to welcome the class of 2022 to an alumni association that includes the state of Texas and members across the nation and throughout the world. Today, you become a part of that alumni family that proudly holds a degree from the first medical school in Texas and one of the first PA programs in the state. Over the last two years, the new physician assistant Alumni Association has accomplished a lot in a very short time. We created a board of directors consisting of 13 Physician Assistant Studies alumni. We established bylaws and membership levels and a criteria for the annual PA's Distinguished Alumni Award. We successfully started a membership drive to fully fund an endowment that will provide a permanent, self-sustaining source of funding for our association. With this endowment and future membership gifts, we will now be able to help advance the cause of physician assistant students' education by providing students with scholarships, educational resources, networking opportunities, and so much more. We are dedicated to supporting the student body and will need your help to continue these efforts. We strongly encourage your support of your Physician Assistant Student Alumni Association. Your membership matters and will directly help students who are following in your footsteps. So congratulations upon reaching the first of many important milestones in your life. 
I look forward to following your successes and connecting you through the Alumni Association. As we say on the Camino de Santiago, Buen Camino. It is with great pleasure that I present the 2022 Distinguished Alumni Award of UTMB Physician Assistant Alumni Association to Dr. Richard D. Muma. Dr. Muma is a 1987 graduate of the UTMB Physician Assistant Program. He has more than 30 years experience as an educator, administrator, and physician assistant, and currently serves as the president of Wichita State University. Dr. Mumba, will you please come forward? Thank you, Mr. Lee, and congratulations, Dr. Muma. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Muma as today's commencement speaker. Dr. Muma earned his Bachelor of Science degree in Physician Assistant Studies right here at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. A Master of Public Health and Community Health from the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston and a PhD in Higher Education Administration from the University of Missouri in St. Louis. Dr. Muma's specialties are in internal medicine and infectious disease. He's published research in notable journals and edited four books, two on HIV infection and two others on patient education. In May 2021, Dr. Muma was named 15th president of Wichita State University. Before assuming the presidency, he was executive vice president and provost of Wichita State, serving as university's chief academic officer and providing academic leadership for the university's priorities, including enrollment, applied learning, funded research, and regional economic development. While at Wichita State, he also served as Senior Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs and Strategic Enrollment Management, and Chair and Professor of the Department Public of Health, Sciences, and the Physician Assistant Program. Dr. Muma has also served as chair for St. Louis University's Department of PA Studies, Education, and assistant professor at the University of Texas Medical Branch, Department of PA Studies. Please help me welcome Dr. Muma. Well, thank you all. Um, it's great to be here, and thank you for those kind introductions and for recognizing my achievements with the Alumni Award. I'm deeply moved by receiving this award. And it's great to be back home. As my spouse and I uh, flew over um, Galveston Bay and the beaches this morning, I was all of a sudden flooded with the memories of where it all started for me. But enough of that for a while. I'll get back to that in a second. Thank you, uh, Provost Mouton, for, for um, having me here today, and other UTB, UTMB administrators, PA Department Chair Phil Pott, um, PA alumni who are here, faculty and staff for this opportunity. But most importantly, graduates, congratulations. This is awesome. <laughs> you should be proud of your accomplishment and accomplishments and confident about your future as a health professional. I remember this moment 35 years ago in this very hall like it was just yesterday. So it's, it's great to be back here um, and, and be in this room with you all. And when I say congratulations, I don't mean it in a compulsory way. We congratulate graduates. When you started your program two years ago, the world was turned upside down. The uncertainty, anxiety, and frankly, panic were palpable. And your healthcare training and education were truly, at some points, a, a, a trial by fire. If you were like me, the exhaustion and chaos and loss and tears and hard work and pure grit 
have likely left you feeling a little overwhelmed. Though I'm sure you question your calling as a physician assistant a thousand times a day during the past two years, thank you for your perseverance, your compassion, and your commitment to your patients and your committee, your community. Though your path was tougher than anyone would have thought a few years ago, you changed the lives of countless patients, their families, and your entire community. And for that, you were and are a shining light during a very uncertain time of our history. So it's good to be home, as I said earlier. And I say that knowing that my literal home is in Wichita, Kansas, but Galveston and Houston always hold a special place in my heart. During my time here, I spent a lot of time on the nearby beach. Probably you all have done that from time to time. Celebrating Mardi Gras, spending time with my lifelong friends, and hundreds of hours studying in Moody Medical Library. This is where I grew up, where I discovered my interest in science and healthcare, and it's where I learned that medical professions are much more than curing the human body. I want to tell you a story about my time here at UTMB that really has shaped how I practice medicine as a PA and how I live my life today. So COVID-19 isn't my first go around with a virus. I began my medical career during the early days of the HIV AIDS epidemic in 1985. In fact, in the early days of my PA training, I was thrown on the wards of John Seeley Hospital to see a patient who had what we called at the time HTLV3 or human T lymphotropic virus type three, kind of a mouthful. We didn't even call it HIV at that point. As with COVID, there was so much uncertainty, fear, misinformation, and some of the uglier manifestations of the HIV crisis and unbearable loss and ignorance. One of my members, mentors was Dr. Richard Pollard, who was a professor in the medical school and a former director of the Diagnostic Virology Lab in the Division of Infectious Diseases here in the time I was studying here. He called himself a herpes virologist, and because of that experience, he is one of the first physicians who cared for HIV patients. Unlike most people, he understood the enormity of the illness and that it would require a different approach to treatment and patient care. I started working with him as a student, as a very first PA student. He had never had a student, not a medical student, and it was my last rotation. I think you all still call it the preceptorship. You may call it something different, but that's what we called it in those days. And he had never had a student on the ward, and he accepted me as his first student. Dr. Pollard used to carry a stack of index cards in his lab coat pocket, rubber banded together, kind of frayed, thick, and I remember wondering what if those cards became misplaced or lost. Because each of those cards represented a patient in the HIV clinic and ward where we worked, and along with it, precious information on the lives of the patients we were treating, many of them shunned by their families, some of them had passed on, he had the very first patient at UTMB diagnosed with HIV on one of those cards. Now, you have to put things in context. This is before HIPAA, um, and healthcare was not fully digitized at that time. But we did have archaic computers, um, ancient things called floppy disks, um, and spreadsheets, kind of rudimentary spreadsheets that collected and stored patient data. And I frequently offered to enter that information onto those, in those cards onto the computer. I could never seem to pry those cards from Dr. Pollard. But then it occurred to me in a very humbling and heartbreaking way why that was the case. Dr. Pollard had been there from the beginning, caring for these patients who had been rejected and ostracized by, by their family, friends, and society at a time when they were so desperate for understanding and care. Those cards were a tangible connection that were tethered to uh, Dr. Pollard, these patients, and one of the few people who hadn't given up on them. That epiphany opened my eyes to the reality that healthcare was so much more than easing patient suffering or physical suffering. It was about listening and understanding and bridging the gap between being a patient and being a person. That lesson has been my North Star in how I live my life now and throughout my career. In my current role as a president of Wichita State University, I've swapped patients for students, but the same concept still applies. People 
are more than their symptoms, their majors, their grades, or any other label that you may give them. Each has his own story and her own reason why. So another valuable piece of advice came to me from the late Dr. Richard Rare, former chair of the PA Studies Department here at UTMB. He told me to always take advantage of opportunities as they arise. When a door is open for you, for you walk through it, he said. That lesson has led me from a career as a clinician, then a faculty member, a provost, and eventually the 15th president at Wichita State University. As you go forward and begin your careers as physician assistant, you have so many possibilities before you. And I hope you seize the one that you feel right about and that feels right to you. When I graduated, I never would have imagined, nor had I any inkling or ambition that I would become a president of a university. But I'm glad I pursued the path, this path, the path that you all just completed, and I have no regrets about the journey I've been on for the last 35 years since I earned my degree here at University of Texas Medical Branch. And I'm still a PA at my core. I left the clinical setting when I became a university administrator, but my tie to UNTMB and the lessons I've learned here have been a connection throughout my life. Whatever you do after you leave UTMB, I have no doubt it will be remarkable. And like me, you'll be equipped with a value-added education that comes with training to become a health professional in the midst of a new disease, as well as the sense of community you built here and hopefully a strong sense of purpose. I want to caution you, though. How our society measures your success will shift. You'll no longer be judged by your grades or your GPA or your academic achievement. Hold true to who you are and the person and professional you become here at UTMB. Remember the reasons you chose to become a physician assistant and willfully and stubbornly choose to define your own success by measures of compassion, empathy, and courage. The final piece of advice I want to impart to you today is to stay curious. It's the best part of being a healthcare provider getting to meet and learn about some of the most interesting people along the way. No one else gets that privilege. You might breathe a sigh of relief um, when you leave here, knowing that this exhausting leg of, your, leg of your journey is over, but you're not done, not by a long shot. There are always new insights, diseases, breakthroughs, discoveries to be pursued, injuries, aches, and pains to be treated, an abundance of patients who seek answers to what ails them and puzzles to be solved. Your job will be to listen, educate, decipher symptoms, and ease discomfort and suffering. Your curiosity and willingness to seek out and innovate solutions will be the keys to your own success and to better outcomes for your patients. So again, congratulations on your achievements. I wish you all the best as you go out and change the world. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Muma. On behalf of we, of we at UTMB, we'd like to present you, Dr. Muma, with this gift. I'd now like to recognize students who have achieved special honors. Dr. Michael Woods, Vice Dean for Academic Affairs, will be assisting me with the presentation of awards. The following students were recognized and given their honor cords and certificates as a, in a separate event prior to these commencement exercises. As I call your name, please stand. The Outstanding Physician Assistant Student in Emergency Medicine Award. This honors a PA student who has exemplified the dedication, character, and passion desired in emergency medicine. 
These attributes are apparent not only with patients, but also with fellow students and faculty while actively contributing to the emergency department and the student emergency medicine interest group. This year's honoree is Spencer Edwin Head IV. The Pi Alpha Honor Society is a National Physician Assistant Honor Society. Students wearing teal and silver cords are members of the Pi Alpha Honor Society. They have demonstrated excellence in research, publishing, community and professional service, or leadership, and have a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. This year's honorees are Arlene Kai, Alex Espana, Jocelyn Farewell, Claire Fazon, Spencer Head IV, Lauren Conjoyan, Asma Maknojiva, Meredith Muma, Hannah Novosad, Kylie Rice, Brooke Marie Smith, Taylor Addison Starks, Aaron Gale Walkley. In addition, full-time PA faculty who have three years of experience with a PA program and who have fulfilled the criteria of distinguished scholarship as well as leadership or service to a PA program or the profession may be inducted into the Honor Society. It is my distinct honor to present Pi Alpha membership to the following faculty members. And will faculty please come forward to receive your cords as I call your name. Professor Dora Hawkinson. Okay, I feel like I need to sing this one. Dr. Julie Kutak. <laughs> and Professor Veronica Marciano. <laughs> and Professor Darcy D. Ortiz. I'd also like to recognize our interprofessional scholars. These individuals embody UTMB's interprofessional philosophy of working collaboratively with health care professionals, community-based providers, patients, and, and patients' families to enhance health care. Will this year's interprofessional scholars please stand as I call your name? Ramey Anita Michelle Byers. <laughs> Catherine Starr Ducote. Kalina Victoria Horodecki. Brittany Jean Leatherwood. Meredith Muma. Taylor Addison Starks. Taryn Noel Tootle. Melissa Ariel Williams. Last, the AHEC Scholars Program is a program for students who are interested in working in rural areas and or with underserved populations. AHEC Scholars practice interprofessional collaboration 
and better position themselves to join a well-prepared, diverse, and culturally competent primary care workforce. Will the 2022 AHEC scholars please stand as I call your name? Niha Aamir. Halima Archer Idoro. Beatriz Adriana Casas. Jocelyn Julia Farewell. Annalise Marie Fontana. Shelby Renee Holland. Fabiola Adrian Maluenga. Min Sung Kok Nguyen. Hannah Florence Novosad. Brooke Marie Smith. Mia Tapia. Nicole Diem Tien. Lynn Trong. The William J. and Mary McCannity Award was established in 1984 to recognize that physician assistant student who has shown academic and clinical excellence throughout their studies. It's, great pleasure, it's with great pleasure that I present the 2022 William J. and Mary K. McGannity Award to Hannah Florence Novosad. The Faculty Award for Clinical Excellence recognizes and honors a student who has excelled in the specific area of clinical rotations during their enrollment. The student must have clearly demonstrated commitment to providing optimal care for patients from both a medical viewpoint involving sound clinical judgment and problem solving as well as from a psycho psychosocial perspective, which might include areas such as sociocultural sensitivity. It is with great pleasure that I present the 2022 Faculty Award for Clinical Excellence to Jocelyn Julia Farewell. The Outstanding Physician Assistant Student Award recognize that, recognizes that individual who has achieved the highest standards of excellence. The recipient of this award demonstrates high standards of personal conduct, honesty, sensitivity to patients and peers, as well as evidence of scholarly ability, inquiry, and dedication to furthering the ideals of the profession. It is with great pleasure that I present the 2022 Outstanding Physician Assistant Award to Spencer Head. The Physician Assistant Educator of the Year Award is selected by program students annually to honor a Physician Assistant faculty member. The PA Educator of the Year Award is chosen on the basis of teaching effectiveness, knowledge of subject, classroom and course organization, interest and concern for the well-being of program students, enthusiasm for teaching, and in general, that individual who provides the best role model for students. This year, students have chosen to honor Professor Carla Hirsch for her outstanding contributions. Professor Hirsch, please come forward.
I'd now like to call on the 2022 class president, Alex Espana, to give a special address to his classmates. Uh, good morning, family and friends. I think I speak on behalf of all of my classmates when I say that much has changed since we last saw each other. But if you were with us this past year, you know that when we weren't trying to diagnose you, we were <laughs> running to a new site every month and somehow trying to become overnight experts in yet another field. And one of my favorite memories from uh, this past year happened while I was on a rotation with one of my classmates. I'll preface this by saying that no, it's not one of those explosive stories where someone's running down a corridor with a defibrillator or hopping on a jet. We, uh, we had just finished seeing a patient and we were discussing their case and going through our mental algorithms and I stopped and I said out loud, oh, oh, it's happening. We're, we're PAs. <laughs> and she smiled and gave me this look that said, yeah, we've been doing this for a few months now. <laughs> Which was right, of course. But that everyday moment of us collaborating back and forth, planning this patient's care, trying to decide the most impactful next step, emphasized how far we were from those students two years ago. Those same students who turned on their cameras that first day and logged into class. <laughs> At some point, despite a myriad of obstacles of constantly changing environments, we had become healthcare providers. We had also become the leaders our professors invested in. We had become the soon-to-be experts our patients expected. That moment sticks out to me because of how fortunate I felt to just have noticed how much we had grown. Luckily, I get to stand up here, look out, see all of my classmates with their cap and gowns, and witness it again. And for that reason, we gather today as a family one last time to recognize our growth, to celebrate our success, to uh, honor the collaborative efforts it took us to get here, and even recall those moments when the journey felt insurmountable. Because for many of us, myself included, sometimes we had to remind ourselves that someday this would all be worth it. Well, that's today. And you were right. It was worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Espana. I was just thinking two years ago, you think back two years ago, we were in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and you started PA school. You took a chance on yourself and look where we are. During that time, you were signed, assigned to faculty coach learning teams. Now, the faculty coach's role is to, is to provide educational and moral support and guide students in their overall academic and professional development throughout the curriculum and at today's ceremony. Each faculty coach will have the honor of announcing their team members as the candidates walk across the stage. But you also supported each other. And so today, I would like to ask you to stand to receive your hood, and you will hood each other. The master's hood placed on the shoulders of graduates signifies their academic achievement. Hooding is an honored and special tradition that symbolizes a candidate's tradition, transition from student to colleague. The hood is the most striking feature of the academic costume. Its shape, size, and colors show both the degree of the wearer and the college that conferred it. The shell or the base of the hood is invariably a black material, 
but the lining is in, in the color of the college or university granting the degree. The color of the border or the edging of the hood designates the field of learning in which the degree was earned. Would you please face to the right? Oh, did I throw you for a loop? You're supposed to face it. Okay. okay, you may now hood the person in front of you. Now face to the left. And face to the left again. And hood the person on the end of the row. Face forward. Congratulations, class of 2022. You may be seated. And now, class of 2022, the moment you have worked so hard for and your family has looked forward to, the awarding of diplomas. Will the members of the class of 2022 please stand? Dr. Mouton, as cha chair of the faculty of the Department of Physician Assistant Studies in the John Seeley School of Medicine and the University of Texas Medical Branch, I would like to present to you the candidates for the degree Master of Physician Assistant Studies who have satisfactorily completed the prescribed curriculum and who have been certified by the faculty of the John Seeley School of Medicine for the conferring of the degree Master of Physician Assistant Studies. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each of you the degree Master of Physician Assistant Studies with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. You know what to do with your tassels, right? Move your, you may now move them to the left. Will the graduates please come forward as your names are called? I'm Professor Holly Good, and it is my honor to introduce you to my faculty coach group as candidates for graduation. Linda May Hu. <laughs> Brittany Jean Leatherwood. <laughs> Victoria Liz Narvez. <laughs> Diana Elizabeth Rodriguez. Sarah Sage Tharnstrom. Yeah. And Aaron Gail Walkley. Hello, I'm Dr. Ashley Guillory, and it's my pleasure and honor to announce the following candidates for graduation. Jocelyn Julia Farewell.
Tanner Alexander Israel. Amanda Mary Jane Sattler. Taylor Addison Starks. Anna Itzel Turner. Melissa Ariel Williams. Hello. I am Professor Dora Hawkinson, and it is my special honor to present the following members of our team for graduation. Kaylee Hester. Michelle Wynn Wynn. Krishna Luitel. <laughs> Laura Ann Pipey. Gabrielle Nicole Sheck. Erica Valencia. I am Professor Carla Hirsch. It is an honor to introduce my faculty coach learning team, Arlene Courtney Kai. <laughs> Kalina Victoria Horodecki. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Jones. Nikki Lee Nguyen. <laughs> Mashire Sambal Rajan. Elizabeth Harrison Smith. My name is uh, Professor Angela Jones, and I am very honored to announce the candidates of my faculty coach team for uh, graduation. Kiang Lee. <laughs> Jordan May Minyu. Oh, wait, I like Joy Liu. My bad. Sorry. Wrong order. I know. There's got to be one, right? Jordan May Minyu. Lynn Nguyen. Caitlin Brooke Prince. I'm Dr. Julie Kutak, and it is my pleasure and deep honor to introduce the following candidates for graduation. Brianna Ray Hernandez Brown. <laughs> Shelby Renee Holland. <laughs> Asma Aziz Maknogia. <laughs> Karina Resendez. <laughs> Samuel David Smith. and Kylie Alexandra Wakefield.
I'm Professor Veronica Marciano, and I'm honored and so proud to announce the, the following candidates for graduation. Amber Nicole Boudreaux and her very special partner, Baby Boudreaux. Madison K. Carter. Annalise Marie Fontana. Lauren Ashley Conjoyan. Marcella Marie Sanchez. And Sydney Alina Diane Webb. Good afternoon, I am Professor Fadeke Okilola, and it is my absolute pleasure to present the following candidates for graduation. Ashley Elizabeth Cuspeed. Spencer Edwin Head III. Heather Elizabeth Jordan. Madeline Grace Kramer. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Ong. <laughs> Kylie Brooke Petty. I am Professor Darcy Ortiz and it is an honor to present the following members of my team for graduation. Halima Archer Idodo. <laughs> Rami Anita Michelle Byers. <laughs> Kylie Renee Reese. Aisha Eniola Tadis. <laughs> Mia Tapia. I am Dr. Gary Perez, and it is my pleasure to present the following candidates for graduation. Beatrice Adriana Casas. <laughs> Joanne Shaw. <laughs> Nabil Siraj Mukhtar. <laughs> Isabel Marie Nolte. Olivia Ann Russell. <laughs> Nicole DM Tien. Hi, I'm Joe Perrin Lawler, and it is an honor and privilege to introduce the next group of candidates. Audrey Elaine Albrecht. <laughs> Catherine Starr Ducote. <laughs> Jessica Rose Grover. <laughs> Meredith Elise Mumaw. Taryn Noel Toodle. Good morning, I'm Dr. John Roker. It is my pleasure to introduce the following candidates for graduation. Judy Ede. <laughs> Hifsa Hamid.
Laura Ann Holland. <laughs> Sally Lee. <laughs> Victoria Ann Watts. I'm Professor Paul Shreve, and it's my pleasure to introduce the members of my faculty coach team that I'm very proud of. And it's Fabiola Andrina Malenga. <laughs> Mackenzie Lauren Romero. <laughs> Haley Jessica Schaefer. Brooke Marie Smith. And Lynn Trong. Good morning. My name is Dr. Michael Whitehead, and it is my pleasure to introduce my faculty coach learning team um, for graduation. Catherine Morgan Atwood. And, and Amos. <laughs> Alex Espana. <laughs> Miranda Hodge. <laughs> Miriam Mahmoud. <laughs> Hannah Florence Novasad. I also have the distinct pleasure of introducing Dr. Phil Potts, faculty coach learning team for graduation. Nahiha Amur. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Princey. <laughs> Claire Fazone. Caitlin Fritz. <laughs> Mackenzie Lee Lowe. <laughs> Minson Kak Gwyn. <laughs> and McKenna St. Clair Powers Garcia. Let's have a round of applause for all of the class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates. We're going to pause for just a few minutes while they finish taking pictures.
Let's have another round of applause for the class of 2022. Congratulations. We have one more thing to do. Dr. Robert Beach, UTMB Physician Assistant Program Medical Director, will administer the Physician Assistant Professional Oath to the graduating class. Dr. Beach, would you please come forward? I would ask a couple of things. First, I'm going to read off sections of the oath and then you will repeat it after me. Try to pay attention to the words you're pledging as you do so. I know it's hard. Should we have them stand? I pledge to perform the following duties with honesty and dedication. I will hold as my primary responsibility, I will hold as my primary responsibility the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of all human beings. I will uphold the tenets of patient autonomy, beneficence, non maleficence and justice. I will uphold the tenets of patient autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice. I will recognize and promote the value of diversity. I will recognize and promote the value of diversity. I will treat equally all persons who seek my care. I will hold in confidence the information shared in the course of practicing medicine. I will hold in confidence the information shared in the course of practicing medicine. I will assess my personal capabilities and limitations. I will assess my personal capabilities and limitations. Striving always to improve my medical practice. I will actively seek to expand my knowledge and skills. I will actively seek to expand my knowledge and skills. Keeping abreast of advances in medicine. Keeping abreast of advances in medicine. I will work with other members of the health care team. I will work with other members of the health care team. To provide compassionate and effective care of patients. I will use my knowledge and experience to contribute to an improved community. I will respect my professional relationship with the physician. I will share and expand knowledge within the profession. These duties are pledged with sincerity and upon my honor. I'd like to ask Julie Kutak to come forward and lead us in America the Beautiful. Oh, 
skies for amber waves of grain for purple mountains majesty above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Thank you, Dr. Kutak. Following the benediction, the audience is asked to remain seated until faculty members and graduates have recessed. Chaplain Schindler, would you please come forward to give the benediction? Thank you. Would you please join me for the benediction? Heavenly Father, may you watch over and give grace and mercy to our graduates. Help them to remember the magnitude of their profession, that they watch over the life and health of others, that they help heal, that they give hope and comfort. May you help them to honor you, the work that they do, and the people they serve. May you provide for them as they continue in their endeavors and grant them wisdom and insight. Surround them with friends and family to love and support them. May they know your peace and help them to be strong and courageous. So graduates, may you go forth into the world, into the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast to that which is good, render to no man evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all men, love and serve God. And may the blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Congratulations.